Here's a section of the, the last DVD project that uh, Jonathan and I will be working on together. Um, we'll still do videos on YouTube and uh, he's going to still do his radio show, but this is the last tangible DVD that we will be putting together. So if you want to get a copy of the other six that we've done for free, you can visit beforethefire.com and you can find the information there where to send your self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll send them to you. We'll stuff it and we'll stuff all seven DVDs in there whenever this one is completed and we'll send them to you. Um, just put the you know appropriate postage on there. I don't know, maybe five or six dollars worth of return postage, something like that. We'll cover it. But here's just a quick look at uh, what this uh, DVD will contain. It's going to be exposing the hive mind that Satan has uh, injected into the human race. If you're not born again believer in Jesus Christ and you haven't been washed in the blood of the Lamb and have not been converted uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, then you are an unwitting vessel of this evil agenda, whether you realize it or not. And we show examples of um, this hive mind, collective consciousness that has manifested uh, very recently. It seems to be increasing and it seems to be very much in the face of those that are awake. But the most important thing to take from this is that you can unplug from this hive mind. You can be saved by believing in what Jesus Christ did on the cross for you. He paid the price in the flesh to fix the spiritual and the genetic issue that we are all up against. We're all born into these flesh bodies that are fallen in nature and we've all committed sins in our lives so we're all guilty. Uh, it's just like being <laughs> it's just like being guilty in, uh, in any court on, on the planet. If you committed the sin, the evidence is against you, you're gonna pay. And we all have evidence against us and we, we're going to have to pay that price unless you accept Christ's payment for you. He took the, the, the pain, he died, and he rose again. So he paid for it. Just believe in that. It's really simple. It's so simple. That is what I love about Christianity, is that it's not about human, you know, human achievement. It's not about what can I do? How many times can I pray facing this way and say this many rosaries and Hail Marys and, you know, or do these many good deeds? It's, uh, it's divine accomplishment, not human achievement. That's what I like about it. And that's why I believe it's so true. It's the most poetic and it makes the most logical, rational sense. And, uh, you know, come and join the family. But this hive mind mentality will manifest itself during the Great Tribulation, the last half, the 1260 days when the Antichrist just kicks it into full gear. There'll be some type of a switch that is flipped I don't know how that's going to work, but it says that they have one mind and everyone will give all of their power and authority to the beast and to the beast government. And the mark of the beast is a, some type of a chip that will lock you in eternally to serving Satan. And you don't want to serve him, he's a cruel master. So that is the purpose of this DVD, is to expose that and show that there's a way out. God bless you guys. It's in the video, I want you to, if you need to, go back and watch it, because it's very important that you understand your condition. If you don't understand your condition, it's almost impossible to get saved. You must understand that you are fallen. You must understand that you have a sinful nature. You must realize that you're a sinner and that you need to be saved before you can get saved. And that's what happened to me. I, I knew that I was a horrible sinner and that I needed a change, otherwise I knew for sure I was going to go to hell. So, there's a whole world that's hidden right in front of your face, and it's upside down. Um, you're born into like a hive situation. That's it. The whole thing is a big hive.
Yet when we pay close attention to the video, Flight 175's wing should appear in front of the building, not behind it. This is a layering CGI glitch, and this proves that this video is a CGI rendering. Choosing for you. signify a, an artistic statement of birthing a new race and it's a race with no prejudice uh, a race within the race of humanity yeah, that yeah. bears no um, uh, prejudice against anyone so um, it, that's really the statement in itself and uh, actually it was in, uh, inspired by uh, humanoids uh, okay. alien sex humanoid hybrid Birthing a new race, uh, a race within the race of humanity. The same as the days of Noah. The entire human race has been infected. Yeah. Every page, every volume. Can you tell me what's happening here? But I believe what was once one race is now two. One above and one below. Two distinct species that have evolved. And how do those below survive? That is the real question, isn't it? Uh... Uh... It's kind of like a representation of the pineal gland because every member of the hive has one. And so, what happens the is, third eye. yeah, it's your third eye. That's what they're talking about. That's why the Hindus and, and the different religions, they have the eye up here on the forehead. And they talk about opening your inner eye and all that stuff. It's, it's just letting Satan in the door and saying, I'm ready. Run me in fully and completely, yeah. And they think it's like uh, being one with your creator. What it is, it's being one with Satan. It is. And then when you get saved, if you get saved by Jesus Christ, you become an enemy of the world. The enemy, the, the world ends up freaking hating your guts. <laughs> I was like, dude, what's going on? After I got saved, man, I was like, what is going on? All my friends just abandoned me. I wasn't preaching to them, but they knew, you know, the hive knew. They reject you. The obscure hand I'm moving, fingertips straight to new string. Lurking about unknown, the ghost, you will move limbs. That a dude's win when I boost the trim. That's the switch, you're my slave, yeah, you're my slave. The truth about foreign beggars are we truly the Illuminati? No, it's something like the Truman Show, bro. We're moving on. Enter my zone at the fungus strike. You've been inducted to the hive way. Choosing for you. There's a whole world that's hidden right in front of your face, and it's upside down. You're born into like a hive situation. That's it. The whole thing is a big hive. The night I got saved, if you want to hear the rest of my testimony, it's on YouTube. You should go watch it because I was in this thing called the secret policeman's ball. And I want you to look how obvious that the shield on the car of a police department car is the head of an alien. I don't care what anyone believes because I have the spirit of all truth living in me that discerns all things. And so when you look at this, you'll go, oh my gosh, the police department shield is an alien head. Well, it's the same shield for Austin, Texas, as it is for San Antonio, Texas. I've seen the same thing on a Houston police car. It's all the same. They're like the enforcers of the hive. And so once you wake up to this, it may be scary waking up, but here's what the scriptures say. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. Well, if you look at this, you'll see that the sheep is dead. That's you. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. Um, I want to show you real quick. This is... This is a National Geographic. Um, it's, I believe it's April of, yeah, it's April of 2001. Right here, it's April 2001 issue. And it's Akhenaten, which Akhenaten is actually Emotep, like the mummy. And um, it means, Akhenaten means worshipers of the sun. I'm gonna show you where the hieroglyph that the Lord allowed me to decrypt came from. There it is. You zoom in right on that alien head so they can see. And now you can look at this and compare it to what I did on the hieroglyph and how I decrypted it. So here's the point. This, 
this hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti is identical to the image of the Virgin, which is also identical to the entire Vatican itself. The Vatican is built at St. Peter's Basilica. The word basilica means royal abode of the basilisk. Go look it up on Google. Uh, you know, don't even believe me. Go, go research it yourself. So the word basilica means royal abode of a king of the basilisk. A basilisk is a legendary serpent, like the one from the Garden of Eden, which is what it is. A legendary serpent that kills with its breath. Well, did you see the mitochondria that we put in the video? The mitochondria is in every cell in our body which produces the breath. So if we were a human being, we were a race of beings that had the breath of God in us, so we had the spirit of God, we had the breath of God, and another race of beings bred with us, then that race of beings would be stealing the breath within our own temple. What do you think is going on? What do you think Lady Gaga said? My performance at the Grammy Awards about the egg and the rebirth is about another race of beings being birthed within the human race. A race within the race of humanity. Right on the money. Because she's a demonic mouthpiece for the devil. That's what she is. God have mercy on her. I don't hate Lady Gaga. I feel sorry for her, man. She's on her way to hell. She's, she's a mouthpiece for the devil. So is Miley Cyrus. Did you see Miley Cyrus, guys? Well, look at the camera. What are you? Oh, wow. The tongue hanging out the side of the mouth. Oh, just like the sheep. Same as the sheep in the hieroglyph. Here, the queen upside down, and in the kid's head. Both of them have tongues coming out of their mouth. This one's real easy to see. There's the tongue right there. It's, it's the bottom lip of the queen. If I turn it upside down, you can see it real easy. That's the tongue of the sheep. There's the eye of the sheep right there. And there's the ear. Ear, eye, nose, tongue of the sheep. So, what's going on inside of our bodies is we are becoming a desolation. Our bodies are becoming desolate. And we cannot really reach out to God at a certain point. Same as the days of Noah. Just look, in the days of Noah, it will be the same as, as the end of the world. It says in the Bible, so it will be in the end of the world. It will be the same as the days of Noah. Well, what did God say in the days of Noah? My spirit will no longer strive with man. If you go look up the older text, it says, For he is turned from man to beast. What are we turning into? The beast. 